Hello and welcome back to another episode of TV Smart. In this episode I'm going to do a quick review of Season 3 of House of Cards starring Kevin Spacey and Robin Wright. Um, again, we are brought back to Kevin Spacey and Robin Wright's story as Frank Underwood and Claire Underwood respectively. Uh, as they now have reached the White House, Frank Underwood is President F.U. literally, uh, and his wife Claire Underwood. Uh, she wants some more power, obviously. Uh, in the White House now that she's kind of helped him reach this pinnacle of power. You can't really get much higher than the president. Um, she wants some more power as well, and she's very disappointed when she can't get it. Um, now, this season brought a lot more depth to her character. Uh, you saw some more, without giving too much away, you saw some more of uh, want, wanting to get higher up. You saw some more of her anger with Frank. Uh, she really realized how terrible of a person she's had to become to reach this level and she realized that she allowed Frank Underwood to be evil she kind of uh, enabled him and you see a big rift between them uh, and this causes a lot of issues Frank is facing a lot of issues as being president obviously with the Russian president um, thinking about a re-election because he did become president in a unorthodox way um, I'll give you a hint his same way Gerald Ford became president um, so you, you saw a lot of change in these characters. There's a lot more depth to them. I will say this season slowed down a little bit than the last, last two because the last two he was rising up to a higher level. Now he's kind of reached that level and there's not much higher to go to. So there, there kind of was a soap opera-ish feel at points and it wasn't as interesting as it had been in previous seasons. I will say it was still fun, but it wasn't as fun as Frank Underwood rising to power with his wife doing a lot of crazy things, killing people. Uh, it wasn't as fun as it had been in the past, but there was a great supporting cast with uh, characters like Kathy Dunbar and Jackie Sharp uh, and Remy. The, they also brought a lot of depth, and <clears throat> they, were, they had changed, you saw. They had changed since uh, season two. And then you really had a psychotic uh, character with Michael Kelly's character, uh, who plays Doug Stamper. Uh, he really plays... Uh, psychotic character um, you, you just have to wait and see what he really becomes at the end of this season uh, you, can, you really can't believe it but all, all in all I will probably rate this season probably an 8 uh, it, it did drop a little bit lower than the first two it wasn't quite as interesting it wasn't quite as fun however it still brought great writing great acting decent story and I, I definitely would recommend it to those of you who haven't seen it yet um, and t tell me what you think in the comments of this season because I know this season was one of the, the only seasons so far that really has brought a rift between people and if, whether they like it or not. It's, it's uh, divided people. And I, it's important to mention that season four has been confirmed uh, for next year. It was just confirmed yesterday, so uh, that's exciting news. Uh, we'll see where Frank Underwood and Claire Underwood are there next year because we know if you've seen the end of this season that there is a big rift between them. All right, you know what to do. Like, subscribe, comment, and as always, stay film smart. I'm coming at you like a dark horse.